T-shaped skills. T-shaped what? T-shaped skills. As you start to get deeper into your transformation program, one of the things that you're going to notice is that all of a sudden, part of taking a more holistic view, taking a more strategic view of your organization, starting to draw those threads together across your functional silos means that people need to take a holistic approach in their thinking. And what you'll also find, in my experience, is that you will start to need people that can understand and operate outside of their box, whether that be their job title or their role or their um, business unit. You need to start finding those people who have a broader appreciation over and above the thing that they do and that they're really good at. Because those people are the ones that start to glue together the organization and start to really materialize the holistic thinking that's going on through action. Because they naturally reach out to, or they are at least capable of reaching out to, those people around them. They have an appreciation of what's required either side of the bit that they do for customers to deliver end to end. And so this idea of T-shaped skills is about, yes, I have my uh, deep functional expertise, my core capability, something that I'm really good at that I can go 10,000 10, miles deep in. But I also need to have a broader scope of practice. I need to understand what's going on across the organization, what's going on either side of me. Um, you know that I use that example in projects where you have a project manager, a BA, and a tester, and a tech. A business analyst that has an appreciation of the job that project managers do, um, and a job appreciation of the job that the testing or the technical people do. Whilst that might not be their specialty, whilst their specialty might be in the business analysis place, a BA that's got that appreciation of the other roles that are required to get the thing over the line is gold. It's the same with your test team. If they've got an appreciation of what your developers are doing and what you're building, um, if they've got an appreciation that you know your project manager's scope of practice is around the influence and the the broadcast message out, then it means that they're able to hook into that team and glue that team together in a way um, that is over and above simply a team of rock stars. We're looking for that rock star team. And so T-shaped skills, if you haven't heard it already, are going to become really important through your transformation. People who can specialize a mile deep, but can also scan the surface and have an appreciation of the people around them, what's required over and above what they do to deliver value for customers. So as you're starting out, it's a really, really good idea to keep an eye out for those people who are not just willing and able, it's not just the coalition of the willing, but also those people who are generalists. So we're starting to get into a place where as the transformation grows and as we take more of a holistic view, those scarce generalists are going to become your gold mine because they're going to help to hold together the organization as you're shifting, as you're moving, as you're changing because they can appreciate the environment around them, the people around them that are required to get the job done. So wherever you are in the world today, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I hope you have an awesome week. Drop a comment below. I'd love to hear what you're thinking.